Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna try to do this video quick. Uh, I'm starting to rain and I'm being attacked by bees. So, all right, so today I'm gonna sh tell you guys about my onboard air system that I've been running on the truck for about a year. Um, it's definitely, definitely a budget um, system. Overall, probably costs around $150, uh, give or take some of the extra things I added. But if you just wanted to like run something like this, um, you could definitely do under $150. And I think that's a, a pretty good bargain. So um, I guess I'll just give you an overview of the system. So back here is my Vier air compressor. It runs to um, basically a junction box where I have a pressure switch and a relay set up. My airline runs down the bed rail here to this switch panel that I made out of some uh, just aluminum, right angle aluminum. So I have my air chuck here and I also have my power switch uh, for the air compressor here as well. Air compressors uh, run off the battery directly so I can run at any time. Um, and it works out pretty, pretty well. Uh, what I like about it is the way I ran it or the way I set it up is that I can run it and it'll stop uh, when it reaches a certain PSI so it just doesn't run constantly. Um, I can run it, switch tires, and it'll shut off. But here, I'll show you how it works. It's gonna turn on. All right, so it just hit, turn it back off. So it just hit um, 115 PSI and um, that triggers the switch, the pressure switch to turn off the relay which uh, cuts power to the compressor, which turns it off. Um, so that was a quick overview. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that box off and show you how you, the cover, and show you guys how I ran the wiring, and I'll talk about how much everything costs. All right, so um, now that I got that open, I'll go through the parts. Um, this is, a, the air compressor is a Vier 88P. Uh, goes for around $66. So it's very budget um, and f performs fairly well. You know, it's nothing crazy, but it definitely gets the job done. Um, inside the junction box here, I have the air switch is a Vixen Horn VXA7115. It shuts off power at 115 uh, PSI and starts back up at 90 PSI. So. You know, as you start using your air, once it hit, goes below 90, it send it triggers the relay to send power, um, or to start the air compressor again. The relay is just a generic relay, a 40 amp relay, and the box I'm using is a I don't even know how, how to pronounce it, some Chinese thing on Amazon. Uh, but basically, it's a dust dust proof junction box. The dimensions are 6.2 by three and a half by two and a half. So, um, just barely squeezes everything in there, which is kind of what I wanted. I don't want anything too big, but I wanted ample space to to, uh, to work. As you can see, the, the airline does a T um, for the pressure switch. That's where it gets its air reading. All that wires back into the relay, which basically controls the air compressor. So overall, I spent just over $150, and that's including the coil hose that I use to fill up my tires. It includes the tire inflators um, and just various connectors and air chucks and stuff like that. Um, that's almost half the price, well, well under half the price of a similar ARB unit. Now I understand the ARB is going to be a lot higher quality um, and is has a lot of different features and capability, but for someone that just wants to fill up their tires um, when they go, after they go wheeling, it's a pretty good system. So as far as recommendations um, and things I would do differently, uh, first and foremost, I would um, get an air compressor that has good mounting holes. So this one has good mounts on the left side here but if you go to the right you can see it's kind of plastic all on this right side 
that makes it super hard to mount and I had to build like this weird you know uh, riser if you will um, using right angled aluminum and I had to use a, a temporary um, hose clamp here just to get everything like it's to stay in place because it kept my old way of doing it kept breaking so it's uh, not ideal but it's been working for a long time um, and I had no complaints of its performance so another thing that I like about this setup and where I have it placed doesn't really get in the way because my bed cover you know comes out um, six to eight inches from the bulkhead here so it kind of tucks in nicely um, and if I'm trying to load big furniture or whatever, you know, it can't go past um, this bed cover here. So it kind of kind of works out. And also keeps out of the, the weather like right now when it's raining. So I um, hope this video is helpful. Um, kind of gives you an idea um, in case you want to do something like this for yourself. Definitely is a cost effective option. And uh, if you have any questions or if you want any more detail on like the wiring, um, just let me know. Um, all right, guys. Well. Thanks.